Spider-Man 3 short movie review. Peter Parker has finally struck up a good balance between his regular life and his alter ego as Spider-Man. And it seems to be going well between him, him and MJ. But when Flint Marco escapes from prison and becomes the Sandman, when Harry becomes the new Goblin, and when a symbiote attaches itself to Spider-Man's suit, the film ends up with way too many subplots. And even Spider-Man can't take care of that. The film is really just a mess, and it's actually quite unfortunate because other than these excruciatingly goofy scenes of Peter Parker dancing, oh my god, other than that, there are some really nice elements. The action is really good, not quite as good as it got in the second, I'd say overall, though you know, the elements we want in there are still there. We've got the heroics, mid-air fighting, debris, you know, innocent bystanders, and the climax in this is the only thing in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy that I'd label epic. You know, we've got... It, this, this film explores the theme of revenge versus forgiveness, and it actually, some of the way, does quite nicely in that. You know, but... About half of this film is basically a melodrama complete with a love triangle, or maybe two. Love sex tuplet? I don't know, but but yeah, it just and it really lacks focus with all these, you know, subplots competing for screen time. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, It'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.